Oh, hi all, cause I'm Masu, and welcome back to Dear Mel. So today we are going to be completing level 4 and level 5, and moving on to level 6 of the Trials of Odin Part 2 event. So, just in case you were wondering, so far I have had to open up every single chest on every single level, just like with the last castle event for the Divine event, which is unsurprising, but there it is in the final chest. Wonderful. So now that Hamrick the Highness is out of the picture, all that's left is the tournament finals. One more round till total victory. And then look, the Valkyrie Dragon is back. I think it wants to tag along with us. The Valkyrie Dragon is one of the most respected warriors among the Northern Divines. It must have really been impressed by our performance in the tournament. Let's keep it up. We wouldn't want to let it down, would we? And we get the Red Flower Dragon as a reward. And you can actually use the Red Flower Dragon to breed the Chevalier Dragon. So I think this is actually a pretty cool dragon for them to give out as part of the level rewards for the lower level players. So not a bad dragon actually for a change on level 4. So can you believe how far we've gotten? If I could be honest for a second, at first I didn't know if I was strong enough. The Northern Divines haven't opened their gates to humans in a thousand years. What makes me so special, you know? Why do I deserve to be here? But when I fight with you by my side, I feel confident enough to go on. I don't mean to be cheesy or anything, but thanks. Now let's finish this thing. Does Arya just hit on every single woman in existence? She's just a raging lesbian, apparently. But anyway, like I said, this is level 5, and this creepy as heck Valkyrie dragon is the prize for finishing off this level. So we are going to be getting two new dragons in this one video, which ain't too bad. The point about level 6, because obviously we are going to be moving on to it. Level 6 of this event apparently takes two and a half resets per single chest. So if you add that all together, obviously opening up all five chests takes a number of days. So realistically, you should be on around about the same level as me if you actually hope to fully finish off this event. So moving on to level six now, basically. And again, I have fully opened up every single chest on every single level getting up here, not by choice, but purely because my luck on these chests in the Trials of Odin event has been almost as bad as it could possibly be. But again, the fact that RNG does not matter as much in this event, thank goodness it doesn't. Thank goodness. So then the last chest is 100 on level 5 because it is the short level, so let's open it up and there is another king. So. If it isn't little Miss Arya, I see that my Viking minions helped you along as I asked them to. Help me? Don't make me laugh, Eliza. You're gonna pay for what you did to us. You're not worthy of the Northern Divines. You're a cheater. A cheater? I don't kindly take to libel. Prepare yourself. I won't go easy on you in the finals. I also said that word wrong, but don't pay attention to that. I don't even know what that means. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works. Well, there we go. There is the Valkyrie Dragon for Trials of Odin Part 2. And again, it freaks me out. Did you know that the Valkyries were the hardest bosses in God of War? If you didn't, now you do. So there you go. So we'll enter level 6. The Northern Divines banished the Vikings because they weren't worthy. If Eliza's using dirty tricks, we can't let her win. The winner of this tournament has to be good. They have to prove that humankind can be good. They have to be worthy. Trainer, the fate of human and divine diplomacy is in our hands. We have to win this, or the Northern Divines will abandon our people forever. Let's go. And um, this level, by the way, is absolutely humongous. Humongous. Like, we start here, you can see we got this path, we've got Odin to fight, and all of the different chests are spread out on, like, these walkways, and it's like, eh, these paths are so long, they are so long. There's an Aurora Borealis at the top, because apparently the Valkyrie created it or something, there's the lava heading down into the actual mountain, um, there's skulls everywhere, that's pretty creepy, there's dead dragons all over the place, including down here. This is giving me Undertale vibes, I don't like these floating creepy skulls. But anyway, we need to start making our way through this level. We may have three days left, but like I said, that's really not that much. It is a 
it is a lot less than you'd probably expect that we'd need, but... You know, we should definitely still be on pace. I haven't missed a reset so far, and I've pretty much full cleared every single one apart from breeding. So, if we can't do it, nobody can. <laughs> no, it is doable, but again, this event is very difficult, and with the, the pass being so long and expensive, we have to be on it. You have to be on it for the next three days and 17 hours if you want to finish. You're not going to finish with, like, tons and tons and tons of time to spare. Don't get me wrong, you're really not going to. And so, we did just unlock that Valkyrie Dragon, so I want to take it out of our actual inventory here. Oh god, I don't even know if I want to see it when it's ready. So the Valkyrie will take 22 hours and 55 minutes to hatch with VIP on, so it's, you know, about a day's worth of time. So we will take out that bad boy soon enough. But on top of that, before I do anything else, I do also want to point out that if you haven't already noticed or you're not subscribed to the, I don't know, any of the DML official threads or anything, there is a fan art contest going on right now. So you do have a chance to win 1,800 gems just for basically making a picture that's DML related. Because just like with the old fan art contest that we used to get, this is pretty similar. Basically, you make your picture, you send it into the Gameloft email, and then they will pick out which one they like. So just to sort of go through the basics, it says, Greetings, Dragon Lords. I'm actually going to zoom in a bit here. Greetings, Dragon Lords. Halloween is here, and the perfect way to celebrate is a fan art contest. Do you have a good story from Dragonlandia you'd gladly share with your fellow Dragon Maniacs? Prepare your pencil, pen, brush, or your preferred tool, your inner artist, and join to our Dragonlandia Stories fan art contest. One entry per contestant. It ends on November 8th. And the winners will also be selected on November 8th. And the five best creations will be awarded 1,800 gems. So, it's pretty much just make some fan art, send it in. If they like yours, you'll go and win some free gems. So, even if you think you're normally a crap artist, send it in anyway. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they'll appreciate it. Maybe it'll be a silly joke picture or something. Just send it in. What's the worst that can happen? That... Like, you get Gameloft to take a look at your art, and then that's it. At least you had someone looking at it, right? But, either way, you know I love fan art and seeing pictures, especially DML stuff, because let's be honest, pretty much no one draws DML fan art apart from, like, Sarah and a few of the other people that are in the Discord server and other people that we've looked at in the past. But, I want to see it. Even if you don't send it into this contest, you can still send it to me or the Discord server people. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. But just making you aware that there is actually a contest on right now. Just in case you weren't aware of it. Because I know sometimes... Like, today, the Smash announcement went on. I'd heard about one of the new Smash characters coming out, but I hadn't heard about the other two. I'm like, how? How does that just go straight past my head? Or, like, how did the news get to me that one particular character was announced, but not the others? I don't know. It's just the way that information passes through is so weird sometimes. So you just gotta... You just gotta double check and make sure that everyone actually is aware. Because when you just assume that everyone knows something, someone will go, Uh, what are you talking about? Um, what do you mean? What do you mean that there's a fan art contest going on right now? Why would I know that? So there you go. Maybe you don't care about art, in which case, you know, power to you. Just do your daily normal DML stuff and don't give a cahoots about the fan art competition. But I know a lot of people that do like drawing pictures, and I know a lot of people that do really like entering in these special art competitions. You know, when I was a kid, I always used to get entered into art competitions because my mother used to want to enter me into them. And she'd, like, draw the pictures or help draw the pictures with me. I won so many. Like, honestly, like, TV competitions. I won one where I got, I think it was a Pokemon play set out of it. Well, that was pretty cool. That was super cool, actually. And I think there was another one. I don't remember what it was. Oh, do you remember those, um, like, colouring in pages that they used to give out at Woolworths? Maybe this is an Australian thing. But basically, at, like, a sh shop 
the shops or like supermarkets, they'd have this thing where the person that coloured in the picture the best got, I don't know, it got put up on the wall. I don't remember if you got anything gift-wise for it. But I used to do that all the time. And then they'd plaster your picture up at like the front of Woolworths and everyone would be able to see it on their way out from shopping. Isn't that a nice use of children? They're basically like your slave workers giving you free art. That's like the most ingenious plan ever. Like get people to agree to take part in a competition air quotes and then you just use all of their art to decorate your building. I think that's fantastic. I mean, maybe the people that drew the art don't realise what, what is going on. And plus, you know, it, it gives them a good image. It makes them seem, you know, family friendly. We like kids. Come shop at our place. We've got things that kids like. We're going to make your shopping journey nice and enjoyable and family friendly. It just gives out that vibe, you know. How the hell do I get onto these? Why, how, how do I get reminded of this stuff just playing DML? Where does it come from? How do I get reminded of these things so often? It's just random thoughts that come into my brain all the time. Oh, uh, oh well. But anyway, for now, like I said, continue on with whatever level you're on, but you do need to be on level 6 quite soon if you do want to actually finish off everything in the event. Uh, this is going to be a long, boring, tedious level 6, and I swear to god if I have to open up every single chest to get Thor, I will rip my hair out because that would be every single chest on every single level needing to be opened. But regardless, thank you very much for joining me today and until next time, I will see you then.